In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the intersection of intervals. The question reads, find the intersection of the following intervals and graph the set on a number line. Let's begin with A. For A, we have to find the intersection between these two. According to this square bracket, it can be equal to zero, but it cannot reach infinity. So I'll start with a number line where that is zero. And we're told that we have values that can go all the way to infinity to the right of zero. We're also told that we can have values that will reach to five. They will actually reach to five. And just to show that it can be zero, I'll put a solid circle here and a solid circle here. And it says it goes towards negative infinity. So everything to the left. This means that only this part right here is where these two sets intersect. I'll write down it can be 0 and it can be 5. Notice that I'm using the square brackets as opposed to parentheses. Let's move on to question B. Reading this carefully, we want the intersection of all of this with negative 4 and infinity. Let me show you what that looks like on a number line. So on a number line, if we set that as 0, Negative 4 to positive infinity means that we start from negative 4 and it goes in this direction. This is telling us, this symbol tells us the union between these two sets. So focusing in on this set right here, we have negative 2 to negative infinity. And because it can't be negative 2, because it's a parenthesis, We'll put a hollow circle and it extends that way. What about negative two and positive infinity? Well, that's the same thing, but going that way. So it's the union between these two. So that means everything from negative infinity to positive infinity, but not including these two. And because they want the intersection with the orange line, we have to see where they are in common. So they're in common from negative 4 and including 4 here and here and beyond. So to show this on a number line, it would be everything from negative 4, and it can't be negative 2 because of that, and beyond to the right. That's what it would look like on a number line. There you have it. That is how to find the intersection of intervals and representing your answer on a number line.